Hello everybody, welcome back to part two of my YAC Yet Another Cleaner video review. So we've already looked at the website and sort of the main program features, but now we're going to test it against some actual malware. So let's go ahead and go into the computer. As you can see, I'm just using OBS to view the computer and interact with it. So full screen it. Go to the home page. Or actually, we'll go to anti-malware, and first let's go ahead and do a custom scan of our malware folders. We actually have a couple of them that I took from malware tips, so that was cool. I should probably rename these into EXEs. I'll do that later on. It should be able to detect them without the file extensions. I'm losing my voice a bit. I am getting over my AIDS illness or something, so <clears throat> losing my voice a little bit. So we'll just scan those folders, and ooh, we have some detections. Very nice, very nice. Let's see how many files it picks up. This is a semi-recent pack. Let me look at the date. Let's see, 106, today's the 7th. And we have one from the third, so kind of old, but not so old that it should detect 100%. And Okay, so we have 239 detected threats out of, I think, like 430, 450, something like that. So we'll go ahead and just go ahead and uh, resolve the detected threats. Processed all threats successfully, very nice. Except that we have quite a few threats still remaining in this folder. Remember, there are 382 in here before, so... Made some progress. And we have this folder, which is pretty much taken care of. Well, not really, but you know. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these, and we'll try to run them and see if YAC can do anything at all. How do I do DOS? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, let's go to that folder. Actually. Okay. Rename star star.exe. Go. Alright. Let's run this shit. Hmm. Should I really be running this on my network? I don't think I should. Do I have my wireless card plugged in? I don't. Give me a moment, let me set this up. It'll take two seconds, don't worry about it. Gonna do some quick tethering. Excuse that, sorry. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Unplug, plug this in. This should detect it. There we go. Wireless networks, jig, connect. We connected yet? We are connected. Work network, sweet. Okay, so now I feel all right about running some of these. Let's do this. Here we go. Run, run. Oh, God. Oh, no. What are we doing? Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. What in the world? Get out of full screen mode. CSGO lounge. God damn it. Get the fuck out of here. I apologize for the strobing. Oh, yeah. That's downloading something. Oh, God. I gotta fix that resolution. It's so bad. Res... Stop being shit, please. Apply. Oh, 
What happened? Oh my. What in the world happened? I honestly don't know what happened here. Oh, Jesus. Can I just restart? Uh, shut down. Here we go. Let's just reboot. Too many something. Ugh. I didn't expect this to be a problem with OBS. I'm pretty sure it's just OBS being odd. I don't think my card is actually blowing up. Let's see if we can even get into Windows. Okay, we are loading. All right, we are back in. Resolution isn't going apeshit. Can we connect to our wireless network? Looks like we will probably. We have chrome.exe for some reason added. Okay, we connected. Sweet. Task manager. Uh, uh, okay. Well, iSafe is that program. The fucking YAC. We have some VMware stuff that I had installed earlier. We have sys.exe, which is malware. We have chrome for some reason. Pretty good temp folder. So yeah, we got all this shit running. Now YAC is telling us to optimize something for some reason. I said connect, come on. Optimize it, do it. Found an item, okay. Meet problem, please contact us. Okay, so we have all this shit on our computer now. Let's do a threat scan. Let's see if it will detect anything at all. It Probably won't, but we're just going to see. Oh, it actually did detect something interesting. And while it's doing this scan, I might as well give my final thoughts on YAC yet another cleaner. And, well, I kind of half-assed the end of this review, and that's because they pretty much half-assed this program. Uh... By looking at what they've been doing with their website, what they were doing as iSafe, the scanner, they don't really seem like they're trying to innovate and make like a really good uh, remover product. They're really not investing much into making a really great program. I mean, you can look at the huge security companies like Symantec or Kaspersky or even Malwarebytes. Nowadays, you know, they're pretty big. Malwarebytes, of course, isn't as big as them, but they're a lot bigger than what they were a few years ago. And generally, they're trying to innovate. They pay people to do research and all these great things, but these people seem like they're just trying to make a program and make some money off of it. And you can tell by just all of the advertisements, and I mean, they're selling out with this Wi Fi router shit in the program. And begging for donations, you know, charging for the pro version, which is fine, but, you know, this really isn't a great program, and the name itself, Yet Another Cleaner, pretty much just tells you that this is yet another anti-malware cleaner, there's nothing special here, this isn't a great program, you can use it if you want to, it's not really malicious, but, you know, you're better served using pretty much anything else. I mean, it might work. It works for some of these, but it doesn't work for everything. And with all of the adware that it tries to sell you, it's really not even worth, you know, using. At least in my opinion. So, it's almost done with its scan here. And you can tell how cheap it is by the... Uh, poor quality of English, and supposedly poor quality of German as well. You know, you can tell that nobody who speaks English had anything to do with this program. It was just all translated by 
some service may not have been Google, but it was somebody else not involved with YAC. So that's nice. Speed up. The trace of Windows and common used software concealed service. You can tell they just half ass this. And you know what? That's enough scanning. Yeah, you, you have done enough. Resolve the problems. All the threats have been solved. And one last thing that people were talking about in the reviews, not in the comments or anything, but in the reviews they were saying, like, this is a virus, blah, 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 you can't remove this. Well, it's actually pretty easy to remove. Just remove it like any other program. Uninstall. Yak. Uninstall. Kind of funny. Cruelly uninstall this garbage. And 180 million somethings. 580 million somethings. Fast and safe. I don't know what's taking so long. Is it trying to download something? Let's look. I can check this on my phone and see. No, it's actually not. It's just being slow for whatever reason. Yeah, hopefully you get another chance. Whatever. So, that's about it for yet another cleaner. It removes fairly easily, so it's no big deal. It's not an actual rogue or anything. It's just, you know, your run-of-the-mill yet another cleaner. It's a great name for it because that's exactly what it is. It's nothing special. You know, it's no diamond in the rough or anything like that. So, you could use it if you really wanted to, but me, personally, I would have pretty much no use for this kind of program, especially considering the strong adware ties with it. So, thank you all very much for watching, and take care.